So, Seth, I hear that there are some secret tree stashes at Sugarloaf that you <laughs> might know about. Yes, there are a lot. Um, there was about a five-year period, kind of maybe from the summer of about 96, um, where myself and my roommates did a lot of glading up there. Okay. Um, and then actually, just recently, um, two winters ago, I got a... Uh, project approved by the mountain to reinstitute the Glade crew. It had been about 10 years. Um, and so, you know, working with the president of the mountain and the president of Boyne, I got funding provided so that there was a crew. Um, so there's been, yeah, there's a lot of hidden trees up there. That How would we find them? For. Uh, come to Sugarloaf and come riding with me for a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will. We will. Okay. Uh, also, tell me, do you visualize your, your, uh, your run in Border Cross? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the whole week at every World Cup or at the games is, you know, you have a couple hour, pra a couple hours of practice sessions, and so you start with just visualizing the course, with getting used to um, kind of looking at the layout, coming up with the game plan. Then you get to practice. You kind of run through what you're going to do physically, um, and then we'll do a lot of uh, video analysis every week. Okay, so you visualize the run, and yep. you get to spend a little time on it. A little bit of time training, and then you know we do a lot of video analysis throughout the training sessions in the week, so we'll practice, the coaches will tape, um, and then we go back and check everything out at night. So the whole process is really about coming up with your game plan in your head of what you're going to do, and ultimately that requires a lot of visualization and, and memorization. How, uh, how, which lane are you in, and how is that chosen? Uh, which lane you're in uh, totally depends on the time trial. Most courses are going to have one gate or the other um, that's end up you know, if there's a right-hand turn first, you want to be in the right-hand gate because it's going to be the least amount of distance that you have to travel before you get into that turn. The fastest person gets to go in that lane? The fastest person from time trial gets to pick that. So it, it can be a real advantage if you do well in time trials, and it can make your day a lot easier getting through to the final. Okay. And could you explain to us the difference between snowboard cross, border cross, and border X? Um, the only thing that's different is border X is what the X Games calls it, and we're running six people in the gate at a time. Uh, versus everything else everything else is running four people at a time so uh, really the names are just different but it's all the same event okay great all right anything you'd like to add uh, hopefully everyone gets a good pow day in this one <laughs> <laughs> okay Seth thanks it's been great talking to you you're welcome thank you